Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends, and welcome to a very special Talking Town Talk To presentation, and I am absolutely delighted that Talking Town, your football content award finalist for 2021, has been chosen by the Players Football Association to present Ipswich's very own. Now, if you're quite observant, you'll know, but just wait for it, James Norwood with the PFA Virtu Motors Fans Player of the Month Award for December. Four goals in four games. Red hot four and lads. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. Great to it's see. A Fantastic it's to a see. mouthful, isn't it? Virtu, what is it called? Virtu Motors. Virtu, Virtu. Either way, uh, thoroughly excited. Incredible uh, form that he's been in. Yeah, yeah. Just been in a colossus through December. How do you want to sort of introduce the man to bring him in? Because he's, you know, a character, uh, an icon. How do we do this? There's, there's only one way of doing it, isn't it? Martin, announce Norwood. Announce Norwood. Well, I, hashtag announce Norwood. Here he is, James <laughs> Norwood. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Very, very well. So, player of the month. That can't have been a shock because you've been in just red hot form. Yeah, the only thing sort of better than the player of the month is watching the cruncher's face when I won it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's naughty. <laughs> James. Two and a half years of abuse and then I get to watch, sit, sit on this with him and look at him. I do love you already, I think James. it's called opinions, James. It's opinions. <laughs> hey, it's nice when you're the only opinion that was wrong, weren't it? <laughs> well, you can't have big opinions on here. You got to put your head above the parapet sometimes, and sometimes I'm wrong, and I was wrong on this. Yeah. Some you say that James, is an you apology, that. James. That is an apology. I oh, really know. Was, was, was yeah. the, the begging for the picture away at Bar Barrow? <laughs> That's why that oh, was. On. He whispered in your ear, didn't he? He said, "You know, James, this is what, this is what you've got to do." And since then, you've just yeah, I think it was the, the pub player shout. I think that got me, and I thought, do you know what? I've had enough. Pub player shout, what dog and duck or uh, oh, the Kings any, NFC. Know, overweight dog and duck, all those things. And I just thought, you know what, I've had enough of the crunch, or you can have a little bit. <laughs> I love I'd it. Keep it, it coming, coming. <laughs> keep it coming. I say, Absolutely. <laughs> it goes back down my throat, James. I don't mind at all. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, you know, you, I, I've you know, you, you've been in red hot form. But what do you really sort of put that down to? Is have you made any changes in your your warm up, warm down? The way no, you, no, nothing, nothing, what, what at all. nothing at all has changed for me over the last two and a half, three years. Um, just the fact that I'm not injured. You know, um, last year I was, I was rushing back too often uh, because the, the, the gaffer or whatever was asking me to come back and I was coming back after 10 days instead of three weeks. Wow. Um, so it was more of a case of me just trying to play as much as I could and obviously to my own detriment, I kept getting injured. Um but obviously, I was just which of fit. course then develops that story in terms of it, it develops the yeah, um, like the cruncher says, bad lifestyle, bad this, bad that. But you know, nothing. He's going on to hammer you. I'm here. For I, can't, it. I can't wait. I can't wait till the Twitter gets hold of this because I'm going to get absolutely rinsed, James. Oh, right. Fans rejoicing, James, all over the globe. Now you, now you know how I feel after every game of we're seeing your tweets, <laughs> James. <laughs> <Kieran>. <laughs> Kieran Dyer, James, you obviously ran straight over to him. Head in there telling me to keep my voice down, so I'm not going to answer any questions with him now. <laughs> yeah. so, Kieran Dyer, yeah. what, what's his influence been? Because obviously when you scored, I think it was you, you went and embraced Kieran uh, with, with McGrill. What, what, what's, what's, his, what's his role in, in your resurgence, do you, do you think? Uh, obviously, I was with the 23s, um, where, where Kieran's manager. Um, obviously, knew it was a tough time for me and made it that little bit easier for me with training and if driving standards, because I know I needed standards high and a good pace of training to, to stay fit for if I was to be recalled. Um, he, he did little things for me if there was run running or if, if I needed a, a break during the training session, if things weren't going well for me and mentally he was, I was able to step away, um, regain composure and, Little things he just always sort of vouched for me to play. Um, so obviously when he when he helped John McGree out, he was he was on my side completely, um, wanted me to play and gave his opinion and obviously got helped me get back in the team more more than more than most him and Brian. It, it, are you somebody that that, that needs 
that that time that 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 sort of uh, influence in terms of driving you forward, keeping your your, your high standards. No, you... not at all. I I um I set my own standards. Um, I try and keep them as high as possible, regardless of what the cruncher says. Um, <laughs> so, you know, for for me, it, it was just having an opportunity to play. I love proving people wrong. I, I take a lot of pride in proving people wrong and people having opinions about me that, that don't necessarily... I know this, this Does just that drive you on? Fun. Does that drive you on, James, when, when people have a go at you? I, I think it's more so when people don't know me and they make them form their own opinion of me as a person and me as my lifestyle. And, like, I could portray myself however I want to portray myself, but no one outside the way in a circle really knows me. So, for me, it's it's interesting to see that... The rumours that go around about my lifestyle, what I get up to in my free time and and things like that that are so far off base that it's laughable. That's the thing. So that, for me, is proving people wrong that have formed an opinion about me. And, you know, everyone's going to say this This turn up in form is make lifestyle changes. Like, it's hit, it's hit home. It's done this. When reality is I've been fit. That's the only difference is I've been able to play games and that's the only difference. You look at when I started, I had seven and ten or something like that, and then mm -hmm. tore my goal. So from that point moment on, that September or October, I haven't been able to play at full capacity. But then mm -hmm. I'm injury prone. I'm this. I mean, I'm that. I mean, I've never been injured in my career. Yeah. Until I've got until a I came. Question, to James, about when you you know you had that groin injury. Yeah. I'll take you back to you went to Harwich. You've done a wrestling show, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that was for charity. That was that was for cancer research crunch. Are, are you a big wrestling fan? Uh, I like wrestling, yeah. I look yeah. like a wrestler, according to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's done his research on you. I, I, I've got a lot more. James, you're, you're brilliant. I love you. you can come back again. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It's not just hey, come on, Matt Gov. It's not just me. What about you? No, no, no. Well, no, I have yeah, availability, best ability. But as you just said, he's been rushing back. They, 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 these are the side of things that as fans, we don't get obviously get privy to. And I'm I'm just thinking you obviously came on against Accra and I think it was Accra and Stanley. In the first five minutes, what you've done is literally bumped into their goalkeeper, right? Yeah. Is is I'll, I'll use an Addy Holt phrase here. Is the shit house? Is that is is that a role you love playing on the football field when you get on that you want to be in their face, causing them issues? Yeah, of course. I think that's the way I play. I, I want to be that player that people hate playing against but like to have in their team. So for me, the first game away uh, of the season at Morecambe, I come on away and give six six fouls because I thought the game was flat and I needed to get the team back up. And the way it was going, we were sort of just going to lose 2-1. So mm -hmm. I, what I did was run around, I smash people, I give away fouls, I frustrate people. And I felt we it gained us sort of momentum in the game to go on. And obviously I got the assist and Maka scored the goal. So for me, it's using my experience to. I think it worked. It worked against Wickham with with Stewart. I think I got up, I shoved him, and bullied him a bit, and I didn't see him again for the rest of the game. So for me, it's it's winning mental battles, and you know, if, if anything kicks off, or and I think you can gain a, a mental sort of win over another team if if you've got six, seven lads for no reason just piling in, the, then the other team know they've got something coming. I like that. I like that, Matt. You hear a lot of defenders talking about their mental warfare with a striker. You don't often hear it from the other side, and that that's fascinating because that was yeah, that yeah. made me laugh. That really did, Matt. Yeah, thanks, thanks. You always get told to leave one on them. Like that's the that's the <laughs> defender. That's the defender's mentality. Let them know you're there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. If, if they try and leave one on you, and then you push them back five yards, then they know they're in for a game for ninety minutes, and a lot of them yeah. grumble. Do you, have, you have good camaraderie with Macaulay and Caden and Joe. What are they like as characters on the oh, training ground? Pigs, Pigs is just Pigs is a lunatic. Um, Pigs is hilarious. Um, Maka, me, me and Maka get on really well. We played against each other in the conference. Jacko, obviously, we've we've had some some time together now and, and get on really well. But I feel like I get on really well with all the boys. Um, there's a, there's there's a great sort of feeling between the boys and. And things like that, that we all get on really well. I don't know if it's seen from the outside, you know, people being disruptive, you know, the crunch, like the crunch has said. Um, little things like that, um, that, that the outside don't get to see, but we're re really tight-knit. 
Are you a are you a ping pong uh, whiz? Because I know when Connor was on, he was saying he plays occasionally. I know Paul Cook obviously was was great at, at corner, according to Connor. Are you are you a ping pong or is there something else at the training ground that you're? Paul, they are playing. Or, what table tennis? Yeah. Ah, oh, no one will beat me here. Really? <laughs> yeah, no one will beat me here, Paul. No one can beat me here. Wow. Right. About golf? Can anyone beat you at golf? Because you're a good golfer, aren't you? I'm not bad. No, Lanky would have beaten me, but he's gone now. So I don't think there's too many golfers at the club anymore. Um, KD's supposed to be better than me, but I've beaten him every time we've played. There you um, go. It's that, it's that competition of me. I turn up when there's competition. <laughs> it's that competitive nature. It, you're talking about, you know, you, you wanted to bring the boys with you in terms of they were flat uh, away. Is a leadership role something that, you know, you're, you're not taking on, but something that you, you feel you could do you could do if, if it was asked to presented to you it's always something that i think i've done um i've always been been a player that's played most games for every team i've played for um so for me it comes i think naturally to be a, a focal point and a voice um so for me it's something I, I i would do anyway you know we've got leaders within the group here and in morsey maca fridge um you've got your natural sort of talkers and some some people lead by example. Some people lead by their voice, and you know we've we've got a few of them here. Mm, yeah, has, absolutely. Has, has the fridge stepped into Morsey's shoes, well, James, in terms of taking the captain's armband while he's been out? Armband looks a bit heavy on fridge, don't it? He <laughs> 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 um, has. You know what? He's he's fridge is a great lad, and you know he's going to be some player, and and is some player at the moment, but he's still young, and you know if he keeps on this trajectory, he's going to. He's going to play at a very high level. Yeah. There was a picture, James, with a, a pig in a chef's outfit released recently because Macaulay had the camera. Yeah. What's the story behind Chef Piggy? What's, what, what's, what's all that about? That's just the chef's good luck charm, apparently. <laughs> um, it's all I know. It's just a pink pig in a chef's outfit. And <laughs> I, it was, well, his missus got him it, apparently. Ah, uh, um, say so no more. Another one that's whipped. I'm, I'm, well, I can't speak. I'm very, I'm very much whipped, but um, you know, we we we, we got to be. But uh, so that's the story. Literally, just a good luck charm for a chef. Is that to avoid sort oh, of? Just don't. It's not worth not worth going into with the chef. <laughs> well, not if you want to eat today. I suppose it's really I, not. I just don't understand the fella, but he's a lovely. <laughs> don't understand the what, fella. What did you all have on the journey back from Chef for Wednesday? What was on the menu? Oh, we had Nando's. Oh, nice. Yeah, we had Hernando's. Usually, he, I don't know why he was up there. He just he just put the cake in the oven, I think. Um, so he travelled nine just hours just to put some cake in the oven, yeah. It's not a bad gig. It's not a bad gig. I could easily do that. I mean, I'm often eating them myself, so I could easily put a bit of cake yeah, in no, the oven. I, I wouldn't know. I don't put that stuff in my body. Well, I, I recommend it. <laughs> I will maintain this. What's it like on the bus, James, on a, on an away day, like when we come back from Sheffield Wednesday, disappointing result? Is it a bit flat? Who's the one to get it going again? I think it's difficult to get it going. Um, mm. You know, it hurts. So the way up there, obviously, we'll, we'll play cards and that for who gets the coffees at the service station and we'll have a laugh and, and what have you and pass the time. But if we lose, it tends to be a little bit quieter. Headphones go in. Um, little things like that. It's, it, it's good, I think. It shows that the boys are hurt. It's not too much laughing and joking, you know. That's it's more so the phones are on, that the headphones are in, and you either come in the next day or the Monday and ready to work. And it's people have done their twenty four hours of being annoyed and and gone through the game, and and you're ready to go yeah. again. Do you, do you ever? Is it rest day Sunday, or do you go back in for a bit of light training now? As it work, James? Right? Uh, depend, depending if the games are away or at home. If we play at home on on the Saturday, we tend to be in. Um, so I think we're in for the next eight days. Um, but if we if we travel, we tend to get the day off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And McKenna's obviously changed it up a little bit with the coach. Is it going from the training ground to the stadium on home days? So we've got the option to drive to the stadium to get the coach to the training ground to have pre-match, or you can meet at the training ground, get the coach in, and then the coach back. So it just depends where you want to leave from, really. Oh, okay. um, it's just all about togetherness and eating together. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I don't mind it. Just the logistics is yeah. a bit to get you. It depends what you want to do. Do you want the extra half hour in bed or do you want to? 
Do you guys are you, uh, <laughs> I go to, I go I go no I go to a, I go to a stadium. Are you are you are you a night out or are you, or are you more of a lion person? What in terms of in terms of yeah because I I'm a I'm I'm a night person. I, I hate mornings. Yeah, Literally yeah, as late as possible. Oh, no, I'm I'm in bed at 10. Um, I'll, I'll wake up about seven half seven just an hour before my alarm. You have to take um, your dogs out because you've got five dogs, haven't you, Joan? Tell us about your dogs. What do you want to know? Well, t tell everyone. I, I know I've seen your pictures on Instagram. Uh, I see the pictures the other week when your heat and broke and they were all wrapped up in their blankets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got five. I've got Walter, Tyson, Terry, Kobe and Lenny. Um, Great names. Great names. Yeah. Well, I got the two slightly bigger terriers, which were sold as chihuahuas, so Adolf there. Um, they were named after obviously Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson. He has got a say, yeah. <laughs> they were they were quite small, um, but had huge paws. I got Walter, named after Walter White. Uh, oh, terrier yeah. named after my dad. Nice. So, yeah, so when he was at home and my mum was calling the dog, that he would answer. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just a long term practical joke from me. And obviously, you've got Kobe for Kobe Bryant. So, yeah, sports, nice. sportsman and my old man. I, I, I'm going a little bit off my notes here, but you obviously seem a great practical joker. What's the greatest practical joke you've ever played or somebody ever played on you? Because there's got to be one, because you you sound like a great practical joker. There's one I can't, I would, I'd probably go to jail for. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not that one. <laughs> Don't know that one then. Marcus, Marcus is looking at me again. What are you saying? Uh, <laughs> It's just that, that Terry quick that Terry story just got me thinking you, you're probably a great joker to live with. You've probably got a joke for every situation. It's absolutely brilliant. I don't know. I just love scaring people, me. Um I sent the kit man. You scare to me, you scare me. The next time I see you, I'm gonna ride. I sent the kit man to hospital at Tranmere. <laughs> he had an anaphylactic shock, I think, because I jumped out on him. And then he he told me he went to hospital, so then when he come out, we was in the Saturday and I hid in the um the big like kit trough where he gets kit out of and I jumped out on him again. <laughs> so your favourite holiday is it Halloween? No, my favourite holiday is Magaluf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brilliant. Yeah. No, um, yeah, just just scaring people, I think, is my thing. I enjoy it. Love talking it. talking of uh Tramir, James, they're doing very well at the top of League Two with Forest Green, your two former clubs. Happy memories of your time there? At Tranmere, yeah, 100%. Um, no surprise they're doing well since obviously Mickey Mellon come back in. You know, it's a great club. Great manager, great staff. Um, it's just nice to see them doing so well after obviously what happened to them in the League One season with that that points per game system or whatever it went down. It oh, went yeah, 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 yeah. By 0 0.1 of a point or something like yeah. that when they had two games in hand. Um so unjustly went down, in, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, they've got a great owner, great manager, great fans. And, you know, they deserve some success after what happened to them. So I'm keeping an eye on, on what's happening there. I still speak to people there. And it's, it's it's just nice to see us doing well, them doing well. What we did was kind of was we, we've got a wheel, got some topic. There is your absolutely beautiful boat. Um, absolutely done me, that picture. <laughs> We, well, I thought you were a joke, you see, so I thought I'd, I'd do one of my own. <laughs> that's, that's what I'll be able people to see me after 10 pints. <laughs> be nice. Our, our, our designer's drawn that. Um, but He's we've got some questions love. on it. And if it's okay, we've got a few, uh, last few minutes. We'll just spin the wheel and whatever comes up, just, just answer it. It's what we did with Connor and Marmite. Yes or no? Look at that straight away. Easy yes. one for you to answer. Marmite, yes or no? 100%. Yeah, hundred percent, Marmite. Oh, Do you really? like Bovril? No, no, you like not Bovril for me. On that. Toast. Bovril on toast, great. No, but that's, that's probably why we don't get along. Maybe <laughs> we can be friends though. Now, Bovril's a Bovril's a drink, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but you can yeah, also yeah. have it on toast. You can also have it on toast. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Not I've not known anyone to have Bovril on toast in my life. I've got some in the cupboard, Matt. 
Wrong uns have it on toast. Wrong uns. Absolute wrong uns. That's what I'm going to say on the hey, night. That's, that's opinions, that. Remember? That is an opinion. Exactly. We love opinions here, Mr. Norwood. <laughs> Favourite dish at the Playford Road Canteen. I bet he, sh- he serves up, particularly with that mascot of his, some proper tasty stuff. What's your favourite? I like the soup, me. Um, what does he do? Um, sweet potato soup. Ooh. And butternut squash. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind that. I lay off the bread rolls. Are you more of a yeah. soup? You know, so if you go to a restaurant and there's you've got soup on the start, you know, starters or prawn cocktail or whatever, is that soup you normally you go to sort of? I don't sort of frequent restaurants that serve soup. They, usually they've got dough balls or sort of cheesy garlic. <laughs> oh, pre- Prezzo, of course. Yes, yeah. Prezzo gate, which didn't involve any of us. Yeah. So for once, we, you can... Yeah, you, you, you're all off. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, I did go for a meal in London and the Cruncher took a photo of us out there as well. You know everything, don't you? <laughs> right. I take it, James, to in regularly. Research, I do mine. Best friend in football? Ooh, uh, Connor Jennings and Liam Rydalge. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, nice to see Connor back, actually, after obviously he had cancer. And yeah, so that. Scoring goals on top of the league, so I'm over the moon for him. Good good yeah, memories of played at Wembley? Was it? Did he play that Wembley team with you, James, when you got... Yeah, the, the yeah. first, the first, he played the first game, got an assist after he was in hospital uh, for 10 days. He come on after a half hour, set up the goal, and then he scored the winner in, in the um, the League yeah. 2 playoff final, 119th minute. You obviously really loved it at Tranmere. Was it a really big wrench to leave something that you've, you know, you've got such an affiliation to, you like the manager, etc.? It's come to Ipswich it's to further your career, obviously. But, you know, you're leaving behind something you really love. It's a difficult decision, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um you know, I could have stayed there for my whole career. Yeah, I get that um, impression. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have loved it, yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, I want to play at the highest level and again, play in the championship and score goals. I know the cruncher doesn't think I can play in the championship. But prove him wrong, another, prove him wrong. Another <laughs> point to prove. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for me, it's, yeah, I want to... I want to try and Glenn Murray this career. Well, my, kids, my kids, when you sign, they've got Norwood 10 on their shirts. And what did you get? Jackson 9. <laughs> 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 what did you I bet, get? I bet they're buzzing that their dad abuses their favourite player. <laughs> it's opinions, James. I think you just said, wasn't it? <laughs> Bring out the building. I've, I've never squirmed in my chair so much for 25 minutes, James. <laughs> oh, I bet he's, you know, yeah, absolutely. Tea or coffee, James? That's what's come up next. Tea or uh, coffee? I don't, I don't drink coffee, so tea. Tea? Tea, oh, day long. Oh, yeah, oh. me too. I live yeah. off coffee. I don't what, coffee. What? Coffee Go tastes on. like dirty water. You're not making... I mean, so, in the I coffee say, club, what... Yeah, what I, had you had I had a hot chocolate in the it's coffee so club. Nice. Oh, it's mm. choice. Cream and marshmallows, or are we just going for the... No, can't can't have cream on, the, on hot chocolate, can you? Think of, think of the calories. Mm. This is a what? professional environment. Well, some do... Yeah, I do think of the calories. The problem is, I just think of them as they're going down. Um, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't worry about it after that, to be fair. Um, Jaffa Kate, right? This is a question that I, I, I this is how I married my wife, basically. I asked her, what is a Jaffa Kate, a cake or a biscuit? What is your answer to that? The one? definition, isn't it, is a biscuit goes soft when it's thinny and a cake goes hard. So when it's out of date, what? I don't know how Jaffa, I don't eat Jaffa cakes. Do they go soft or hard? That's the answer. They don't They're in the biscuit aren't they, they mine? They are. They are. Yeah. Said, I said, it's, it's honestly, they were a cake, James. He, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I, I think. think I don't know. Have you had any out of date Jaffa cakes? Do they go hard or soft? I don't like them. No, you can they, answer this scientifically. They don't live that long in this house, James, to be honest with you. You know, <laughs> they, they literally on. bought and They don't and look gone. like they do either. <laughs> <laughs> it's all muscle, James. Just relaxed <laughs> state of muscle. Uh, uh, dressing room joker. Is that you? I bet it's got to, it's got to be you. There can't be anybody else. With worse yeah. bands. Right, listen, I, 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 my my band is a little bit different to everyone else's. Um, Pigs is up there. Fridge is up there. Um, my band is a little bit more ruthless. I think. Um, I, I enjoy, get that. I That's enjoy, what we're finding out. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy a little bit of ruthless banter. Um, but but Pigs and Fridge, yeah, they're up there. Who's your roommate on the way trips, James? And you think anyone can part with me? <laughs> your own room. No. Ah, uh, yeah, get me own room, yeah. <laughs> How, do, do, do the other players like room together, or is it just potluck? How does it work? Uh, before COVID, you could you you would share, but you could you could pay a little bit extra to have your own room. 
Oh, okay. So I was, I think it was an extra tenner or something. I'd, I'd chuck a tenner in to get I'd, my own. I'd room. do that. I would do that. You never know if you're going to get a sleep talker or someone who wants pitch black when they go to sleep or yeah, yeah. it's a whale music or what have you. Leaves their tails on the floor in the last, bathroom. The last thing I need is someone with a bird who's on FaceTime to them. Do you know what I mean? Like all night. <laughs> so I love them and that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Giving it all that. How has that changed though since you arrived at the football club? the away day experience because obviously now from the fan perspective it looks like you're going up a couple of days beforehand etc has it changed a great deal or no or not, no, not, no not at all really sort of we'll, we'll train and we'll, and we'll travel um day before more often than not um so not a lot's changed in terms of, we all get our own rooms now because of covid um so that's the main difference to be totally honest with you we did have you're a little going two buses james you're still going two buses to the games now yeah yeah, there's like a staff one and a player's one. But I think we've got to have a physio and a doctor on ours just in case anything goes wrong, in case Fridge swallows a card. <laughs> <laughs> so is the gaffer on the other coach? No, I'm being told. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, that's all right. The... It's because I'm always on the coach early because I'm a good pro. Absolutely. Know, Christian Walton was talking on Thursday about inspirations. As a as a child, he he, he listed Edwin Van der Sar. Who who was your inspiration as as a, as a player? You know, young player making their way. Yeah, uh, Pele. Nice Pele for me. I had a, I had a video of him on his goals, and I think it was the thing that took some took the most from that was he said um, the quickest way to goal straight at it. Yeah. So I base a lot of my runs straight at the goal, um, and I think that's helped me. Score as many as I've scored. Um, I don't. I try not to run too wide. I try to always stay within the width of the goal, and that's the way I try and play. Yeah. You've been playing a different role, haven't you? Um, these last few games. You started off. Did you start off as a midfielder when you were at Exeter? I, I signed as a striker and got sent out on loan to Forest Green and played left midfield. Yeah. Um, so I played left left midfield of left. Of a four, what have you, uh, till I joined Tranmere. It was the main reason I joined Tranmere. I spoke to the manager and I think I had a couple of, uh, I had Burton when they're in a the champ, a couple of League One clubs, a couple of League Two clubs. And uh, the first thing Gary Brabin said to me was, You'll play centre forward and you'll play every game. I think if I'd have signed for anyone else, I'd have continued to be a left midfielder. Um, so for me, I wanted to play up front. So I didn't really play up front until I was 25. Obviously, wow. up to 18, I was a striker, but. Yeah, eighteen to sort of twenty four, twenty five. I was I played on the like on the wing. How are you enjoy the new the new coaching setup with Kieran McKenna and Martin Per? Is is it a lot different to, to Cookie's way of working? Uh, listen, all coaching is completely different. Um, yeah. That's the thing. People have got different methods of how they work and what they want from the team, but. The, Obviously, the aspects are all still still the same. They they want to score goals, they want to attack, and they want to be tight in defence. So, mm-hmm. yeah, the drills are different, and what they want are different. But ultimately, the the goals are the same. It's can we create, can we score, and then can we keep it tight at the back? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, you've you've seen quite a few matches at Portland Road. One of which was one of my favourites, Paul Lambert, namesake. Of course, I'm often roasted for. Let's yeah, see, there we go, there we go. I know. Do do you look back at that early part of your career and think? Do you know, if I'd played up front, I'd be in the championship now because you are an incredible striker. Yeah, hundred percent. I think the game's changed over the last four or five years. I see you see sort of nineteen, twenty-year-old kids getting moves to the championship or above, um, scoring eight, nine goals in the conference or League Two. Um, like there was a group of sort of guys my age who were nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, getting eight, fifteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-fives. And no one, no one looked in at that level, you know, until Vardy and Andre Gray mm-hmm. went. Yeah. Now people think there's diamonds, but all I sort of remember a bid from Cardiff coming in for me after we played them in pre-season, never getting told about it. And the game's completely changed. It's sort of blown out your agents are doing a lot more. There's a lot more social media now. I think, you know, if I had my time again, I was 19, 20. I think, yeah, 100%. Um, I was, I think I was rapid back then as well. You mentioned Glenn Murray earlier. Just last question, I know the time is pressing. Is that somebody that you're looking to model the, the, your career on? Because he's obviously gone on to incredible things. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, but now I am. Now I'm a bit older. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I but is it, 
an inspiration that somebody uh, can do that? I think it has to be. Um, like, I feel good. Um, you know, I've only played six games this season or started six games. But for me, I move, I'm sharp. I'm still one of the quickest here. Um, so for me, it's how long can I play? And if we go to the championship, I'll back myself to play. I'll back myself to score goals. Um, you know, the goal, like I said, when I joined it, the goals don't change size. I back my movement, I back my, my speed and I back my aggression in the box that whatever level I played at, I'd, I'd score. So if we get promoted, if I'm here, I back myself to play and I back myself to score. I don't see why not. I agree. I agree. I'm giving James. you a new contract if I'm the manager. I'm giving you a new contract. Yeah, after this chat you are now. <laughs> no, he was beforehand, to be fair. He was beforehand. I know, I actually said... I've he said has, before. He has, before. He, has. Uh, he has. James, one, it's been a real one, honor. One, one final question, James. Dillian White or Tyson Fury, who's going to win that? It's no question. It's Fury. He's unbelievable. Yeah. Knockout? Yeah. Brooke. Yeah. Brooke yeah. v. Khan. I hope they knock each other out at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Both got glass chins. Yeah. So it's whoever lands the first punch. Yeah, I you could be right there. Totally agree. James, all the rest, all the best, sorry, for the rest of the season. Hopefully you start more than six games, as you just said, because when you, you've been in incredible form. And congratulations again on your uh, Virtu PFA Player of the Month for December. There is, there is a small something. That... Oh, I think. Oh, is this it? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh I, I hadn't seen it. Look at that. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Absolutely nice. beautiful. Your uh, incredible gaff in the background is getting in the way a little bit. but um. Sorry, I've got loads of money clearly not done too bad for yourself there have you look that piano does, 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 does that get used often no i'm just in my home in america at the minute i think <laughs> <it's not. laughs> there you go james good luck and i, Thanks, I hope james. to speak to you again with another pfa virtue player of the month. i hope so i see i'm gonna stay up on the cruncher so hopefully he changes his tune <laughs> i might be a bit nicer next time love it james <laughs> oh, well, i can take it i can take it <laughs> have a great Come one on, thank you <laughs>